Everyone's talking about Black Friday right now, but I'm here to talk about the best makeup of 2023. Hi, I'm Laura Ray. I test out hundreds of products every year. I'm here to share the best of the best. Now today I've done one side of my face in affordable makeup. This is all more affordable drugstore slash Amazon makeup that I found online. Now the other side is more mid-price. These are things that I would buy at Sephora. So let's start talking about these favorites. This was the year I really discovered City Beauty. Now City Beauty costs a little bit more for the gloss, but I find it's so great. I love how it hydrates my lips and they run sales. They just had one buy one, get one free. And I actually bought this one myself. They did send me some and I love the way it hydrates my lips. Now, a little trick that they say on their website that I've been doing even with my affordable gloss is I put this on and let it sit for two or three minutes, then put a lipstick with it. So that's what I've done today. I put this on first. I'm letting it sit while I do my makeup, and then I'm going to mix it with some other lipstick. Now, you could mix it with drugstore lipstick. On the drugstore side, I love the Milani Keep It Full. I think it's so hard to beat this. It really does plump the lips. I love the shades that it comes in. The one I'm wearing today is Luminoso. This is one that my daughter and I have repurchased, but we've probably repurchased about every shade they make. These really make the lips look very luxe and luscious. The award for primer for the drugstore goes to Revlon. Now, I want to say some of these products are products that have been out a while. Some I might talk about today are newer, came out this year. But I went through everything I own to try to find the best of the best. This Revlon Color Stay is fantastic. It's their prep and protect primer base. Now it actually has a sunscreen in it, an SPF of 34. I don't use it for that because I do apply sunscreen before I apply makeup, but I really like how this covers discoloration, redness in the skin. Now I will tell you it does seem to lighten your foundation a little bit because it does leave a slight white cast to it, but I think it has such a beautiful look on the skin and really does help smooth out the makeup and keep it on longer. Now on the high end side, I've used this travel size. Actually, this is a small size of the Fenty Beauty Primer and it is beautiful. It's their Soft Silk Pro Filter. This is a totally different texture than the Revlon. It's more of a, a gel hydrating sort of skincare feel to it and it doesn't have any color to it, so it's not going to change your foundation at all. But I love the way it makes my skin feel and look. It gives a nice luminous look, so if you have sort of dull skin, it will definitely make your skin look more beautiful. Let's move on to foundation. The award for Best Drugstore Foundation goes to L'Oreal for their True Match. This is one I've used for so long. I love how much pigment it has. It has just enough pigment to cover discoloration in my skin. Yet it's thin, it's not too heavy, it doesn't get into my fine lines, it doesn't make my skin look heavier. Now on the high-end side, I love this new one from Smashbox. It's called Always On, and it says on it, Skin Balancing Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Adaptogens. Well, I think this looks beautiful. It's very long wearing. I find that my L'Oreal is one of the longest wearing foundations for a thin foundation. Some of them, as the day goes on, they look beautiful, but they're not on the skin as much anymore, and you see more of your own skin. I feel like this stays on the skin really well. This Smashbox does too. It reminds me a lot of Estee Lauder Double Wear, but maybe a little bit thinner, which I really like for my mature skin. I wanted to mention that I love this sponge. This is a recent find I talked about in a video. I love how it applies my foundation. There's something magical about it. It's really affordable, so I'll leave it in the link below. 
I love eye makeup, especially eyeshadow. Now, one I fell in love with from the drugstore this year is the Alme Velvet Foil. It's been out a long time, but I just tried it this year. And boy, is it beautiful. It comes in so many shades. Look, I have it in several. I have the purple that's called Violet Eyelet. I also have this one, Ruby Glam. And this one's beautiful too. This is Endgame. But these are so affordable, around $5, and they really do feel like a high-end cream shadow. I love cream shadow. They're so easy. They're just one and done. You don't have to be so fancy with your eye look. And they're just really beautiful for mature eyes. On the high-end side, I have to give it to Charlotte Tilbury. I still love her eyeshadow. The cream eyeshadow is my favorite product from her that she makes. One difference I've seen with the Charlotte Tilbury as opposed to other eyeshadows I've tried from the drugstore is that this one stays very emollient. It has not dried up over time and it just spreads easier. So I do love the ones from the drugstore, but if I pick a high end, this is definitely it. Let's talk about brows. I have found that this is my favorite shape of eye pencil, where it just goes to a slant that the ones that are really pointy, I get too harsh of a look. This gives me a little softer look. This is my favorite from the drugstore. It's from Winky Lux. You can't really buy it in a drugstore. They sell it at Ulta. They sell it at Target. It's a tiny bit more than a drugstore price, but I feel worth it. It has a spoolie on the end, and I just get such a nice soft look. Now on the high-end side, I've used the Laura Geller, and this quickly became a favorite. This is a little wider than the Winky Lux, but on this side, they have a gel to keep it on all day, and the gel really does work great. So I think this is wonderful. It comes in taupe. And that's a big deal for me. Some lines don't make a taupe shade, and I have sort of a different color of brow. It's not really light brown and not dark brown. It really is a taupe. So I find that that shade matches so well. This one from Winky Lux is actually a universal shade. They only make one shade, and it happens to be very similar to the Laura Geller. So I find that this works well too. It's like I said, a little more than drugstore, but worth it. The winner for eye primer is from Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Last. I've talked about this so much. It just works great on my mature eyes. It keeps the shadows on all day. And for the high end, I love the one from Urban Decay. This one is Sin, and this actually has color to it. I've worn this like an eyeshadow. Look at how beautiful that looks. It's a little more, but I figure I'm getting an eyeshadow and a primer all in one. I have bought so many eye pencils from Julep. Now, Julep runs about $15 for their eye crayons, but so many of these are much more than that. So I feel like they're affordable. They work beautifully. I love this shade Pearl that I can go in the corner. I can go along the lash line if I want to brighten up my eye look. So it's very versatile. Now on the higher end side, Rare Beauty. This is beautiful. It glides on the eyes. And in a recent video, somebody said, what's on your eyes? That's so pretty. And it was this. I bought the shade Integrity. I just thought it was one of those shades that I could mix with other shadows that I have. Just maybe even put a bronzer in the crease. Often I will do that. I'll use a shade like this on the mobile lid and then just take my bronzer and go in the crease and I'm done with my look. And it's just so soft and beautiful looking. And these pencils make you look like you're great with eyeshadow, even if you've hardly put in any effort. I'm not going to recommend a high-end eyeliner because I think you really don't need to buy one. I will say I tried one from Lancome this year that really impressed me that stayed on all day. So I really did love that. But I'm back to these, the Glimmer Sticks from Avon. I bought this on Amazon and I bought a few shades. This shade is Majestic Plum. I have to say this year, most of the time, I've worn this shade. It's just beautiful on a mature eye. It's not as harsh 
as black. Now I've also bought this in a gray shade. I love charcoal gray. That's another way that I sort of get a more intense look without wearing black. But my favorite thing to do is put on the liner and then go in with this BK Beauty brush. This is the 204. It's a smudger brush. I just go along the lash line and after I apply the product, I just blend it out and it gives such a smoky, beautiful look. Now look, that glimmer stick has already dried up. That's incredible. It does not budge. I want to show you, look at this. It just doesn't budge. It looks the same as it does right now. The more I rub it, it just stays the same. So these glimmer sticks are great. I wear them. They stay on all day. I don't get smudges under the eyes. So I'm a big fan. On to mascara. It won't be any surprise that I'm picking the Maybelline Sky High. I've worn this pretty much all year. I've also been trying some tubing mascaras, and I've talked about the one from L'Oreal that's been out for years. But this gives me beautiful lashes. I don't get any flaking. I'm just so impressed. Now on the high-end side, I went with City Beauty. This Beyond Mascara has ingredients in it to help your lashes. I'm hoping over time my lashes will get a little healthier, maybe a little longer. But what I like about this is the dark color of it. It really makes my lashes stand out a little more. And the other thing is it keeps my lashes curled. When I wear this, I don't feel any need to curl my lashes. And I will be at school and I'll look in the mirror at lunchtime and those lashes are still sticking up curled. So that's why I feel like this is so worth it. And again, they had a sale recently where you could buy one, get one free. So when you're doing something like that, then it makes it about the same price as drugstore. So that's what I'll be doing this year. When they have their sales, I'm going to buy two at a time. And that way I can still save and have curled lashes. For concealer, I'm going with Winky Lux for the affordable. I've mentioned this so many times that it's like skincare. It feels so good under the eyes. It's moisturizing. For those of you with dry under eyes like mine, that's pretty important. And a lot of the drugstore concealers I tried this year were very drying in the under eye or they got into all of my fine lines. So this one, again, is a slight bit more than some at the drugstore, but so worth it. I'm in the shade Light Beige, and I really like this shade because it matches well with my skin, yet gives me, yeah, a little brightness under the eyes. Now, this one came out recently, Rare Beauty. It's really neat because the wand has like a little silver uh, into it, metal, and it's very much like a serum. There's no heaviness to it, which I love for mature skin. And I could probably go with a little deeper shade that matches my skin tone more, but I wanted to try something that would be a little brightening. I will buy another one in a little darker shade for the days that I don't want all that kind of brightness. But I do love it. I think it's worth it. I'm glad I bought it. But I also love my Winky Lux. That Avon liner is so great. I had to take makeup remover to get it off. And speaking of that, I really have loved this one from e.l.f. This is their e.l.f. off makeup remover. This is fantastic. It's super affordable and I've really enjoyed it this year. When I'm taking off my mascara, I will actually put some on a Q-tip and go through the lashes. And that helps get all of it out so that the lashes won't have that mascara in it. I'm hoping that will help them to grow a little bit better. Now on to blush. So many of you love blush. You write me how much you like certain blushes. And one that I tried out this year that I thought was amazing was from Catrice. It's their Air Blush Glow. This reminds me so much like of a Charlotte Tilbury blush. It has that little bit of luminosity to it, some color. Now this also came in a matte. So if you're not a fan of all that glow, they do make the same blush in a matte. And I tried that and I thought it was great too. But this is super affordable. Now this shade is Coral Sky and I thought it was perfect to go with the look I was going with today. Now for the high end, I went with the bronzer. This is from Bare Minerals, and this one is Kiss of Pink. I bought two different shades, 
and I was so impressed. This is supposed to be like a blush bronzer all in one. It adds beautiful color to the face. I held off buying this because it isn't so cheap and I have so many blushes that are affordable that I love, but I kept hearing people talking about it and so I caved and I bought it and I'm glad I did. I think it's a top quality product and looks beautiful on the skin. L'Oreal last year released their infallible fresh wear. This bronzer is fantastic. What I like about it, there's no shimmer in it. It is a matte and they make many different shades. So I'm sure that most of you would be able to find a shade that you're happy with. I bought their light medium. That's number 300. And I thought this worked really well for my skin. My skin tone is on the end of light almost like the beginning of medium for those of you trying to judge what shade would work for you. But this blends beautifully. I've been really happy with it. I haven't tried any other bronzer from the drugstore this year that I think is better than this. So I put this in my favorites. For the high end, I love the Glowish. This is from Huda Beauty and it's just so beautiful in the skin. It goes on very softly and it's buildable and I like that. I think that's great, especially for someone beginning in makeup who's not used to putting product on. And sometimes some of the drugstore stuff can go on a little heavy at first. So I love how easy this is to blend. And I think it gives such a beautiful look on the skin. For drugstore powder, it's hard to beat number seven. This is such a fabulous powder. It really takes the shine right off. Look at the packaging. It's just so beautiful. It looks high end. It looks very luxe. And it's one of my all time favorite face powders. Now for the other side, the high end, I went with Laura Geller. This is a great product. I love it to finish off my makeup. I sometimes wear it alone, but I think it's so wonderful. It's color correcting. This is her Baked in Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. So you can wear this just on your bare skin or you can put it on top of makeup. Now, I really loved putting it on top of my Alana Mitchell sunscreen. It gave it such a finished look, polished look. So you might find you'd like to do that. Maybe you have a sunscreen and you feel like you need a little coverage and you can put some of this on top and have a very finished and polished look. But I really came to love this. This was a product I didn't like before. I tried it a few years ago and it just didn't work for me then, but I've been playing around with it. And once again, I tried it on top of the Alana Mitchell. I fell in love with it. Lipstick. That's probably my hardest category to pick because I have tons of lipsticks that I love. But I have to say, I have to go with Revlon. They have such an extensive line. Their lipsticks are so moisturizing. I just think even their packaging looks very classic and classy. Now, the one that I'm wearing today is Peach Me. Now, like I said, you can put it on top of your City Beauty. You can just go right on top and have a more uh, luxe look to the lips. I think they look very hydrated, very smooth. But of course, most of the time I just wear it on its own. Now I put in a new category this year, best lipstick on Amazon. Amazon carries a lipstick by a company called Oyulac. And I found them several months ago. They make lots of different textures of lipsticks. They have metallic, they have satin, they have matte. But look at the packaging on these. It has magnetic packaging. I love this shade. I'm just crazy about it. It's Baby Angel. But I think I have four or five different shades now of their lipstick and I love it. These are so creamy, smooth on the lips. They're very affordable. I'm thinking they run around $8. So the price of a drugstore lipstick, but so beautiful. And I would say the packaging is definitely a cut above drugstore. For high-end lipstick, I'm going with Merit. Merit is a company that I've been wearing their products for, I guess around two or three years. And I love this. The packaging, I don't know, it's very 70s looking to me with the almost lucite kind of covering. 
but these lipsticks are so smooth. This particular shade is Cabo. And I wore it in a video and some of you complimented me and said, wow, that's your color. And I never thought this was my color. This is more of like an orange red. And I usually go with a blue red to make my teeth look a little whiter. And But that somehow this works. I don't know how, but it gives a lot of life to my face. I have maybe five of their lipsticks. I just think they're magnificent. I really like them. They are a clean, minimalist type of brand, but I think the ingredients in their products, from what I can tell, seem excellent. And so I have bought this. Actually, I bought it for my mom before, and she really loved all of her Merit makeup. Setting spray. That's another category where I feel like you really don't need to spend the money, that you can find a great one at the drugstore. I do have a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray that I just bought that I'm going to try, but I really didn't have any to recommend for you right now. I did want to share this one from Milani. There are many from the drugstore that I love. This is the Make It Last. Now, I would say to you, I really don't like spraying setting spray on my face. I feel like it's just too much. So I like to take a makeup brush. I'll take a brush like my BK Beauty brush and just spray it like this into the brush and then just pounce on my skin. And that way I can control where it goes to. And if I know there's an area like my nose where the makeup tends to wear off, I can put a little bit of extra on it. Now, I like to sometimes mix the setting spray with my foundation. That will make it last longer. And you can always layer the foundation, like put some on before your foundation, then put another layer after you put on foundation. That's a good thing to do if you know you're going somewhere and you're going to be gone for hours and hours. Maybe you have a wedding coming up or a party where you really want that makeup to last. Setting spray can really make a difference. I have one lip liner that I want to recommend this year, and it's from BK Beauty. They have such an amazing line of brushes, and their lip liners are gorgeous. They're at a drugstore price. I have all of them. I use them every day. I find that lining my lips right now is really important. As I've gotten older, I've sort of lost some of the shape in my lips and a little bit of the fullness. So just outlining them, it helps to keep the lipstick in, keep the lip gloss in, but they have several shades and all of them I think are wonderful. I have others I love from the drugstore, but these are creamy. I use them as a lipstick a lot of days and sometimes top them off with a gloss, but I don't even need to do that because they're very satin looking on the lips. I think they're just great for mature skin. So this is my all-time favorite lip liner. So that's my best of makeup for 2023. I think it's sort of hard to tell which side is drugstore and which side is high-end. I think there's great products in every brand. Paula Bagone used to say that. She said, every line has great products and not so great. And I've found that to be true myself. Even high-end brands, they'll have some products that are amazing, and then you'll try something else that's not. So that's why hopefully these kind of videos are helpful because I'm trying out so many things that I can give you some comparisons. All the links for everything are in the description of the video. Thank you so much for all you've done for me this year for supporting my channel, for being so kind in the comments, the things you've said to me all year, especially while my mom was ill, really meant the world to me. I love you all so much. Have a blessed and beautiful week, and I'll see you soon.